Hello there. Uh, for a question like this on the GMAT GRE, um, one of the key things you have to understand is that most of the information you need for this question is already given to you. They're asking for the average percentage score on these three tests. And they've pretty much told you what Harry scored on the first two tests and also on a third test, which is 40 out of 100. So the main thing here is to just focus on finding out the percentage that Harry has scored in each of the three tests and then finding the average of those scores. So the very first thing we want to do is um, get the information on what Harry scored in the first test. So let's go to test one. So on test one, the information here uh, is telling me that um, we have 30, he scored 30 out of 50. Now, of course, you just go ahead and reduce that, um, just reduce that by crossing out the zeros, and that gives you three fits. But because this question has to do with percentage, uh, the way you change that fraction into percentage form is you go ahead and multiply that by 100. When you do that, this 5 will cross out uh, this 100, giving you 20 there. And that 20. Um, pretty much multiplies with the 30 with the 3 over there giving you uh, 60 and that is going to be 60 percent the next thing you do is you look at test 2 now because they already told us that test 1 and 2 scores were pretty much the same uh, we know that test 2 would also be 60 percent uh, the last test we need to look at is test 3. And they made test 3 pretty easy because they told us that is 40 out of 100. Because that is 40 out of 100, we're pretty sure that that is just going to end up being 40%. Um, And the reason that is is because most percentages are written, uh, all percentages are written out of 100. So when you're telling us it's 40 out of 100, that is just an automatic 40 percent. Um, and that is for test three. Uh, so at this point, what we want to go ahead and do is um, create the average situation. So we know that average, the formula for average is average is sum over the number of things you are averaging up. And in this case, the sum of the things that we want to add up will be 60 um, plus 60 plus 40, which is pretty much all the scores for all three tests. And you have to divide that over three. A very common error I see a lot of students have here is um, not dividing over three. So they do the sum of all three things, but they never really divide by the number of things they actually have. So you have to do that to actually have an average, a complete average um, um, setup. So you want to add your 60, 60, and 40, and that is going to give us a total of 160. You want to divide that by three. And as you do that division by three, you would end up with somewhere in the neighborhood of 53.3%. And that's your answer, folks. And the answer for that will be D here on the selection. Thank you very much for listening to the solution. And check, us, check, out, check our website at successprep.com.